Hey guys, Arrow Season 6 has recently ended, and I'm going to review it. Season 5 ended with an amazing cliffhanger with Leon Yu blowing up, but the this season ruined it. By only killing off two pretty much main characters, those the, not even main characters, just two characters, those being Evelyn Sharp and um, Samantha. And the only reason they killed off Samantha was so Oliver could become a father and Felicity. They killed off, again, they killed off a character because of Felicity. But this time it was so Felicity could become, I guess, William's mother. Like, I really wanted at least Felicity and Diggle to die. And maybe, I I was glad that they put Thea in a coma, a coma maybe Wild Dog too. But they should have definitely killed Diggle because... This season pretty much ruined Diggle for me. They made Diggle the Green Arrow. Like, Diggle is so boring as the Green Arrow. Last time he was Green Arrow, I think it was, I don't know what, when it was, but prior to season six, last time he was Green Arrow, I was just thinking, okay, yeah, yeah, fine. We've seen Diggle in the Green Arrow suit enough now, but they actually made him the actual Green Arrow in this season. It was so dumb. D Diggle is so boring as the Green Arrow. But other than that, I enjoyed Diggle in this season. He was just really boring as the Green Arrow. Oliver's just much better as the Green Arrow. Speaking of Oliver this season, I really liked him. He was a very good character this season, as always. Stephen Amell plays him very good. Two of my favorite episodes this season were the ones that included Deathstroke. Manu Bennett is always appreciated to return as Deathstroke. He was awesome in those in that two-parter. I really didn't like uh Renee's new suit. Um Renee was a good character this season like last season, but his suit sucked. Curtis, aka Mr. Terf terrific in my opinion, should either go to Legends or join like the Justice Society of America and like a present day but he still works on Arrow, but yeah, he was fine this season. Dinah Drake is my favorite canary in her suit. In this season was great, but I feel like that next season I would like to see her retire as Black Canary, and I would like to see uh, Black Siren, aka Dino Laurel Lance, become the new, uh, become Black Canary. Roy Harper was great for the two episodes that he returned in. I was just kind of disappointed that um, he didn't wear his Arsenal suit, but it's fine. Colton Haynes was awesome as Roy Harper, as he always is. And he has been said to be a main character next season on Arrow, which I'm so happy about. And I think that they should do what they did in Young Justice, where they revealed that Roy Harper is actually a clone of the real Roy Harper, and the season could be about finding the real Roy Harper. And the Colton and the Roy Harper we have now is... A clone of the real Roy Harper. Watch Young Justice. You'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. The vigilante reveal was bad. I mean, um, it. I think it should have been Adrian Chase. It should have been like it was the real Adrian Chase and Simon Morrison, the villain of season five, stole the this guy's identity for two reasons. One, we get Josh Segura back because he's awesome, and two, it's comic book accurate. But we did get Adrian Chase in an episode in a hallucination, and that was just fantastic. Now, let's talk a bit about the villain, Ricardo Diaz. So, for the first half of the season, um, um, what's his face? Um, Caden James was the main villain, and I did not like that. I'm so glad they swapped him for Ricardo Diaz. He was just so much of a better, better villain. But as I said... Ricardo Diaz is great. If I would to rank all the villains of Arrow, number one, Slade, two, Prometheus, three, um, Malcolm, four, Diaz, uh, five, Damien, and six, uh, Roz. I think that is how I would rank them. And I liked how he teamed up with Black Siren. Now, Speaking of Black Siren, I'm just going to call her Laurel for the rest of the video. Speaking of Laurel, I'm so glad she got a redemption arc because in season 7, I want to see her become the Black Canary. And I want, she was good this season. 
Black Siren, but next season I want to see her become the Black Canary, and I want to see Olicity go away, because Olicity, seriously, Olicity ruined the mid-season finale. Olicity sucks, and I don't know why the writers still make them be together. But let's talk about the finale, the final fight. It was... I really liked it. Diaz, great villain in this episode, also in the rest of the season. And Oliver Queen, the final battle between those two, it was it was awesome. And also, the fight in the police force, fight against the police force was also awesome. And we did lose a character in the finale, which I will talk about later. Another character we lost in this season, I believe it was episode 16, was Thea Queen. Now, I'm kind of glad she left because I feel Thea doesn't really have anything to do anymore. She's kind of boring. Other than being speedy, of course, but the other character we lost, which was a lot more sad because we know he isn't coming back. Thea could come back for a few guest roles, but the other character we lost was Quentin. Although we didn't see him die, Sarah returned and his death was just, it was just sad. We didn't see him die, but... It was just sad when we found out that he died. But just just like Thea, I'm glad it happened because Quentin didn't really have anything to do in, on the show anymore. Um, in the finale, Oliver goes to prison, which was damn. I can't wait for the next season. It's probably going to start with like Oliver being beat up in prison or something. But Oliver goes to prison... That's the end of the season. Can't wait for season 7. And that's my review of Arrow season 6. Did you enjoy it? Yes or no? Say it in the comments. And thanks for watching.